Well, hello, people of the internet, and welcome back to another episode of Mafia 3. As always, in the last one, we did a whole bunch of shit, and if you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. Go out, go out of this video, go on to the one previously, watch it, and then come back. But if you've already seen that one, then, you know, don't click off this video. That would be a bit stupid. Um, anyway, that's all I'm going to say regarding the introduction, and we're just going to continue with the series. And we have arrived at a very, very fancy plantation house. Now we must have a little sit down with everyone. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out there, there's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. That doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Damn. You can't say no after that. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's see if we go out to his house and shoot him. It shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. <laughs> Cassandra's <laughs> right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hell what yeah. To those territories we get from Marcano's guys. Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing it so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational. Greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey. Nice speech. Think they bought it? Damn right okay. they did. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. Hmm. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. 
<laughs> and the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. Oh. Well, there we go. Awesome. Now I have full brain. Uh, yeah, extra, extra cash and loyalty. Press square on the map to select one of the, one of Donovan's missions or one of the optional agenda and trafficking missions. Cool. Cool beans. Oh my god. All right, then. Who are we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. Oh, fun. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be I. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, if you say so. How's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? He loves it. Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still All sore right. about me looking at you. Well, now. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Let's go there. And here we are. And here he is. You ever heard of Enzo Conti? I think Sammy mentioned him a time or two. He's 61, old school mob, been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off exploring the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork, it's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him? Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. All I'll right. take his district from him. I'll give him a call from the motel. Off him and out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> a what? Okay. Okay, yeah, I just, yeah, I just, we just went through all of this. Oh, there we go. What up, Connie? How's it going? Look who it is. Good to see you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taken over the warehouse in River Road, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent likes between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's a protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You got to pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of uh. small time for one of Marcano's outfits. 
Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. Interesting. Right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. You know the drill. Lean on Santini's people, see what they got to say. All right. Appreciate that. Okay, so we are... Where are we going now? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go here. Jesus Christ. Takes care of him. Good shit. That was a bit of a panic attack, but it's fine. Nice. Nope. Nice. Sorted. I thought I might have got spotted, but it's all fine. And there we go. I know there's a couple of people on the outside, but don't really have to worry about those guys. Yoink. Perfect. He split. Maybe he's over here somewhere. You ain't escaping, motherfucker. Tell me everything about Santini's smuggling racket. Mr. Santini's been doing some small time gun sales. I, I know where he's been stashing the money. My crew will be in touch. Nice. I don't trust no one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, you hear that? Oh shit. Okay, it's fine. Okay, you're going... Oh, you're coming this way. Ooh. 
shit. Just found a stiff. Nice. All right. Easy peasy. Give me the money. Five grand. Holy shit. Alright, what's next? It's a shame. Gotta go all the way over here. Ugh. Oh shit. My tire is about to pop. There we go. Sorted. Get that boy. I'm back. I've destroyed a shitload of guns. Holy shit, you really been to work on Santini's I really have. <laughs> God damn, you make an impression, boy. Didn't mean no offense by that. Listen, it's not setting well with Santini that people think they don't have to pay for protection. And it sounds like no one trusts him to deliver on gun deals like usual. Imagine that's got him pretty pissed off. <laughs> got him, Enzo, and Marcano looking weak. Going over to the train yard. Santini's there now, trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do. Been fun, Connie. Keep it tucked up out there. <laughs> if you don't get to Santini, right. Marcano, perfect. Will. Might as well put the poor bastard out of his misery. 
I really wish I could fast travel. But I mean, I, I don't mean specifically right now, because obviously where I'm going really is not that far away. But I just mean like, you know, having to drive all the way out of the city into the bayou just for, you know, one single mission. Either that or I just wish cars were faster. I know I can upgrade them, but, you know, in general. You're fucking kidding me. Damn! I did not think I'd send him flying like that. Holy shit, dude. God damn. That was lucky. Nice. Good shit. Are you out of your mind? Got no way to go. Easy peasy. here for you and those weapons you're bringing in. How about it? Not how I expected this to turn out. Welcome aboard. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Uh... Uh-huh. No, I know that. Okay, cool. I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. Yeah, okay. But if you're asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And Wait, okay, never mind. I thought I read something somewhere that there's like specific or like preferred places that you should give to preferred people. Or, yeah. But, turns out. 
That's not true. Can't see anything anywhere. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. Just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color. Nice. Oh, nice. Cool, cool beans. Well, there's another one down. Well, I'm going to end this episode here then. So... As always, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the episode down, if you're excited for the rest of the series. Subscribe if you're new, if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Toodaloo, buckaroos.